When I bought my FJ Cruiser a little bit over four years ago, there was three mods that were top priority. Sliders, lift, tires. I started shopping online for sliders. They're anywhere from $300 to over $1,000. I really couldn't tell the difference other than the ones that had kickouts or steps. And steps defeat the purpose of being able to slide along a rock or off a ledge or a uh, whatever. The FJ, when I bought it, it came with these steps that stuck out about you know, a foot. They were shin bangers, they were ugly, they were cockeyed. I knew they were not staying from the first time I looked at the FJ before I even made an offer on it. Being Fester, I went for the least expensive ones because I just couldn't figure out the difference. As soon as I picked them up and got them home, I realized the sliders that I had bought were mounted to the body, to the chassis, not to the frame underneath here. And I'm like, oh shit, oh well, it is what it is. Okay, so I got these chassis mounted sliders. They mount in one, two, three places. I can't remember if it's one bolt or if it's two bolts that hold them on. But anyways, these have worked for four years. I've taken some good hits on them. The last time I was out, I took some good bangs on them. Scratches, I mean, I even got a dent right here and just now I can tell I got a little piece of paint that chipped off because of the dent on it. I know I've got some scratches right here. I remember that from California. Where am I going with this, you ask? I've decided I wanna get some frame mounted sliders. I've been looking online and I found out that the going rate for used stock frame mounted FJ Cruiser sliders is 150 bucks. The stock sliders, I think they mount up a little bit higher to the chassis than these do, and they stick out a little bit more from all the homework I've done. These right here, I mean, I can stick my hand in over them. They're still got two tubes, and although they only have three mounts, they're reinforced uh, because they're welded at the front and the back, and then there's a brace right here, right here, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus the end. So they're pretty strong. I really got no complaints with them, other than the fact I wanna improve it a little bit, improve the look and strength of it. That's basically it. Then what I gotta do is the used stock sliders. They're gonna need to be sanded, primed, and I'm gonna put some rattle can, Rust-Oleum truck bed liner on them just for protection and for the black. Look, what I'm hoping is that I will be able to put these sliders online for sale at $150 and maybe get $150 or $125 or even if I only get $100. It's not gonna cost me that much to upgrade, so I'm gonna be in a good position. That's where I'm at, that's what we're doing. Let's get on it. So that was productive. I got my sliders in the back. I'm protected. And I sold the rock guard, the tail light guards that came with the vehicle. And these things are stout. They are strong. I don't know why anybody would be taking these things off other than wanting steps because they're short or old. That's an inches. These are a little bit fatter. A little bit of rust there, not bad. We'll fix that up. Man, that could be a forensic analysis. This is the passenger side. Back here, facing down, is all clean. The closer you get to the front, you get all these little dings on here. Road debris coming up. I'm not Sarah in tuned, and you don't want to watch me chipping and filing and sanding at the welds and spraying paint. For those of you wondering, it took me a full can on each slider. So I'm gonna do one more can of paint on each slider. 
and call it a day. Okay, the driver's side slider is off. That's the middle mount there. Minimal rust, but anti-seize would have helped me out. And then over here, this is the front. And the front one, the uh, for lack of a better terminology, the rib nut, which is inside, busted loose. And so that was kind of, in essence, stripped, but I wedged it and I pried on it and it finally came free, but that was a bitch. And I've got the sliders off. The aftermarket sliders, I hosed them down and that's about it. There's that rock that came down pretty hard on. This is the driver's side. And as you can see, just like the other sliders, the closer to the front wheel, you get the rock debris coming up, and then it goes away as you get toward the end. These are four years old. Here's the passenger side. So you can see my battle wounds. Ouch. I do get in some rocks. A little more than I was expecting. Uh, here too. Aftermarket sliders are 20 pounds. The stock sliders are 45. Here's what I like about living in Utah. These sliders, they look like brand new sliders have been sitting in my driveway all day long. And they're still here. My sliders are all ready to be mounted. Yay! So, what do I need? First thing I need to do is I need a eight millimeter by 1.25 tap. Links to all this stuff will be in the description should you need help. The sliders have four mounts. Each have two holes in it, two bolts, and they're threaded on the frame already. Then you're gonna have to clean them out. I did one the other day just to see how bad it was and it was horrible. So I highly recommend you cleaning out the threads before trying to put a bolt in there. And if it's already clean, this should just thread in just like a regular bolt and thread out with a regular bolt. Use this with some WD-40 or gunk or baseball mitt oil or whatever oil or lubes that you have around. But once you get it cleaned out, I'm gonna throw some anti-seize into the hole, just a little bit, the bolts. I bought these on Amazon. They're basically a buck a piece. This comes with 15 of them. They are M8 by 125, hello. M8 by 125, McFly. The links are this are in the description, remember? There is your bolt. They're one inch long. On the sliders, three of them are double upped on the flange uh, where it mounts to the body. Two of them are single. You can use a three quarter inch M8 by 125. I happen to, I bought this, it's got 15, I need 16 total, but because two of them are short on each slider for a total of four, I can use this, which I removed uh, when I replaced my bolts on my, whatever it is. And then to turn these, you're gonna need a 12 millimeter socket. That's all you're gonna need, short of some muscle, to get those sliders on. And I know how everybody is about looking at the rust, but there's my frame. And you can see I've already cleaned out the threaded holes where the factory sliders will mount. So I'm kind of happy with the rust. I should probably hose off underneath here more often, but that's not too bad, all things considered. You definitely need to tap out those holes and clean them out because they were full of dirt and rust and gunk. 
and stuff. All right, man, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with this upgrade. I'm happy the way it turned out. I like the look of it better, but to be honest with you, going from a inch and three quarter slider to a two inch slider is something I will notice for about a week. Then I'll stop noticing it. Looks good. I'm happy they do stick out this way a little bit more. But most of the rocks, as you saw, that I'm hitting are on the bottom, not that big because the rock would have to be that big for me to hit it. And if they're that big, I'm not going, I'm not going on that trail. Uh, that's just me. All right, man, uh, I hope you found this helpful or motivating or whatever. That's it. I'm out of here. See ya.